Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We will be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of All Star Six of. They had to create a drag tot, give it a character, a superpower, and obviously a look. What is a drag tot? Is, is that like a tater tot? Drag tots is an animated series available on WoW Presents Plus. Drag is not a contact sport. Oh. This week, we challenged our queens to create their own live action drag tot characters. I love to see a queen be inventive and resourceful and do something right off the top of their head and just create something that is, you know, magnificent. Yes. A lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Who's up first? Ooh, Trinity K. Bonet as Fierce Felicia the Feline. If that ain't a mouthful of pussy, I don't know what is. That is a mouthful, bitch. Here's my really stupid theory. I am not a fan of Cats, the musical. Mm -mm. They should modernize it. This is what I think Cats 2021 or 2022 should look like. I think Cats should have a more modern, a more whimsical, a more uh, fantasy feel to it. I'm very much a dog person. Like I like dogs, but my personality itself is quite feline. For instance, I like to take a lot of naps. Naps. And I also like, you know, a little like... To bathe other cats and pussy with your tongue. There's that. And I also like a little cat nip, if you will. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, sis? You heard me? Uh -huh. What I love about this is she has taken the fur and I don't know how, if it's just put on top of this or if she actually sewed each panel into the costume. It's great. But it's great and I love it. And I love how graphic her makeup is. I love when makeup is done in such a way that you see it. It's stamped on the face. It's not just blended into where it looks pretty, which is which is great. But you know, it's drag queens. You're, you're creating an illusion and walking onto a stage. And then on top of that, creating a cartoon character. But she didn't only just create a cartoon character, she created a cat. And I love the colors. I think that this pussy is powerful, honey. I love how the ears are so huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. It's fun. I am feline in this book. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. Two. Meow. You gotta say meow when they dress like a cat. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's bring on our next girl, and she is Ginger Minge as Tara Bell. She's not terrible, she's Tara Bell. You're Tara Bell, Mary now. I love, love, love blue and magenta. Is that magenta or is it pink? It looks like a pink. I don't care. And I love that fabric. No, I love both of these together. And so I'm gathering from the name Tara Bell. She is from the South. And by the looks of this, she is probably one of those queens that is very sweet and loves you, but turns around and probably has a thing or two to say about you. Well, she's the Tara Bell of the ball. She's giving us cotillion queen. And it's so on brand. It's her silhouette. When I think of Ginger Minj, I think of this look. I think of this shape. I think of the silhouette. And I think of her as being a Southern Belle because if you've ever spoken to her, that accent is quite particular. It is quite American. Charming the morning dew off the honeysuckle. And she is definitely from the South. So she's representing and everything looks beautiful. There's nothing about this that is out of place that doesn't belong on her. I think she looks quite beautiful. And I always love a parasol. I do too. Oh my God, look at how cute her little shoes are. I love the sleeves on this, mutton sleeves. Mutton, yes. The length of that skirt on her, I think she should always wear that length because she looks so tall. And then the layered ruffling right in the open, in the front, it's really cute. And she made this, she made this. They had to make these looks in the workroom. That's what makes all of this so much more impressive is the fact that the girls all had to make it themselves. I love it when I see girls just kind of putting things together and making it look just as beautiful 
as if they paid, you know, a thousand dollars for the costume from a designer. We realize that there's a certain type of talent that they also have in creating a look because, you know, drag is what's laying around and not walking away on its own. Take it, decorate it, use it up and wear it out. Febreze it, put some perfume on it, get that cigarette <laughs> smoke smell out of it, uh, you know, but whatever. Just get it ready, get it together. But she looks fierce and she looks cute and she made it herself and therefore I give her a two. Two. Next, Raja O'Hara as... I see a queen. That's a pretty damn amazing outfit. Come on. Bitch, I f love it. First of all, she is in head to toe purple. She is completely purple, but she made a bodysuit out of shiny spandex. It's like a lame lycra. It's a lycra that has a reflective surface to it. And she used purple makeup to match the body and then that cute disco dress over it, but with the eyeballs all over the costume and then in the palms of her hands. I love it. And the purple hair. The purple hair is actually one of my favorite things on this entire thing, but also the outfit is quite spectacular. Yeah, and the cute little tiny little belt that has the little pieces of fur and then those elongated fingers and there's eyeballs on the end of it and then her glasses and the glasses are covered and eyeballs. It's just a very smart costume. You know, we've seen many, many seasons, you know, uh, Miss Lala Reed just sticking bags all over herself. And when you uh -huh. see queens actually like really get down and sew and create a costume as such, you know, I gag. I'm gagging. I think she looks beautiful. I see you, queen. I see it. Yeah, I see it too. I see a big old toot, honey. Next, we bring to the stage Eureka as Alexandria McQueen. Oh, bitch, she better. She better. Don't you f with Alexander McQueen and not deliver. Bitch, I'm all about the runway walk right now. I love a slow walk. It reminds me of a British eccentric and they like to pile on things, including crowns, just in the daytime. Things that sort of swag and drape over the body and it kind of gives me that feeling. I'm not sure if this is entirely Alexander McQueen. I do believe that it is something that fits Eureka beautifully. And I'm really quite impressed with the fact that she made this. I had no clue that Eureka had these abilities. Yeah, it is impressive. And I, you know, I love a f hooded cowl. The only thing I do not like is the fit of that crown. It looks like, like she bought this at a football game and the sports team that was playing was the Queens. And so she bought it and then was like, mm, but I don't like the color. So she found fabric and covered it. She, couldn't she have covered something else to where it fit a little less bulky around the sides of her head? And I realize she herself is, you know, a voluptuous queen, but it just looks like she's wearing this huge winter crown. I love the fabric. I love the fit. I love what she's done with it. I just mm -hmm. don't like the crown. The crown looks a little off and I wish it mm -hmm. was off of her head and somewhere else. Oh my God, you hate it that much. Yeah, I don't like it. I wish she would have tapered the ends that went down into her head. This is one of those moments where I'm gonna disagree with you and uh, you know, it happens occasionally. I actually love it. I like the size of it. I like the fact that it's a little bit oversized. No, I love oversized and I love how huge it is, but I, it doesn't need to be sitting four inches off of her head all the way around. You don't think so? No. Why not? Because she might as well have two can holders on either side with two Budweiser beers in there and a straw going into her mouth. Well, that's where she failed. She should have had that. She should have had that. And I would have had that. I love the train. I love the fit. I love the length. I love all of that. The crown, I do not. I give Eureka a toot. I am looking at the overall garment and I'm going to give it a toot. Next, we have Kylie Sonique Love as Misbehaved. Oh, Kylie. How did she make that broom stand up? She's a witch. That's, That's how she did, how she did it. Mother witch. Her superpowers are reading. Reading is fundamental, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It sure is. I love everything about her 
look. She's giving us like Hogwarts tea or something. I love the glasses. She looks like she's a teacher or a professor. Or maybe she's the smartest kid at school. There's an eyeball on her book too. I love the fit of that top. I always love something that kind of goes up tight around the neck and kind of features the face. But then you get around to the back and there's that big bow. So it's got that cute little bit of like whimsy. Like I'm really not all that bad of a witch. I'm actually a cute, sweet witch. Mama tied my bow up real tight before I left. I love anything bruja. I love a bruja with a broomha. Yes, bruja. Kukuroka. Me meow meow meow. Na 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 na. Two. Yes, two. Trend alerts. Eyeballs. Eyeballs and labels. Icons. Ojos. Ojos. I see you. Give me you. eyes, give me eyes, give me big eyes, give me little eyes. I seize you. I seize you and I bind you. Our top two of the week is... Ginger Minge. Ginger Minge. You look terrible. Bell. We love you, Ginger. We love Ginger Minch. Ginger Minch and Tara Bell. Tara Bell and Ginger Minch. What, what, Everybody what? Everybody clap. We're gonna yeah. square dance with Ginger Minch. Yes, Ginger Minch. ka ka da ka Ginger Minch. She wins the game. Catch an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6, Thursdays on Paramount+. Plus. And if you live outside of the U.S., you can always catch it on WOW Presents Plus. If you had a cartoon character, who would you be? What would your name be? I honestly have never even thought about it. What about you? Peacock Sucker. Peacock? No, Peacock Sucker. Peacock Sucker? Yeah. Okay, you like to s peacocks. Have you ever tried? Just kidding. Neither have I. I'm like, what are we gonna find out about you right now, B? I don't even You're know how to. How do you even know how You're to find a peacock? How do you even know how to find a peacock's cock? A peacock. You talk cock, dirty cock, to. Cock. You got. You got to talk dirty to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find the nearest peacock and be like, hey. Cue up all of the <laughs> the uh, people who are gonna be angry about <laughs> us talking about. <laughs> Peacock. No. All right, bitch. I'm gonna go. This uh, this AirPods about to die. Bye. You wear it well. well, well. You wear it well. I love peacocks, and I like to. <laughs> oh. You like this dress? I do. I love. Ooh, Raja, I love that dress. Thank you. It's my peacock wow. sucker look. Ha, 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 ha.